So, um, speaking of yin yang in it, uh, Jet Li sitting here on the oil drum, uh, foot on the crate, looking cute, looking pretty, but um, don't be fooled because he could kill you in a heartbeat, you know? Please, 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 I want to see more of him than a cameo in this one, you know? Um, he was one of the most interesting characters, in my opinion, in the first film, and I want to see that again in this one. Um, you know, his lines, his dialogue in the first one were just really um, outside the box. And I loved that about his character. So it was sad for me to watch in the second one. Even though he made amends with Gunner, um, you know, it was sad to see him go parachuting off um, with the, uh, the cargo, that man in tow, um, you know, re-delivering him where he needed to be. Uh, or where he came from, or where he belonged. But I would, I would really love to see, um, you know, some more Jet Li in this one because that is just a truly, truly, truly awesome character. Um, <clears throat> and you know, <clears throat> um, I would like in a way, I kind of wish that they would do that with more of the characters in the movies. Is really play on their potential and really drag out their potential. Maybe make the Expendables movies a little bit longer so you could have that great character development and, and dynamic of of all the different characters because there's so many great characters, but, you know, as of case in point in a sequel, the trade-off, you know, having more Arnold meant less screen time and uh, character development for some of the other players in the movie. Um, so... This brings us to <clears throat> the man in question, Mr. Iron Arnold himself. And looks like he's got Caesar's gun and can't wait to see him in this, you know, in this movie um, as well. You know, I, I can't wait to see Conan 3, Crown of Iron and uh, the Terminator Genesis trilogy, which is shooting back to back and some great ideas they got going for that. I must say I am intrigued. I cannot wait to see Terminator Genesis. Um, and Sabotage, which I'm probably going to go check out this weekend with my girlfriend. And I love those um, tank videos he did for uh, charity. And it was really great to see him with my hometown hero, Mr. Harley, on Epic Mealtime recently. Um, his YouTube page has just been, you know, um, um, <clears throat> blowing up with those one-liner clips, you know. You son of a bitch. Um, Arnie, I'm such a big fan. And I'm so glad that you came back. Um, possibly someone else from Trench Mauser's team. Or Trent Mauser's team is Andoni uh, Andonio. <laughs> Antonio Banderas. And I love him. You know, the desperado. The witty assassin. Um, I love that little hat he's got on there. Um, charming and charismatic. A great add to the franchise. Um, as is Harrison Ford. And I love that jumpsuit. And I wonder if he is too from Trench, uh, Trench's team. Maybe we'll get to see him flying that new X-plane. You know, like riddling some bad guys with bullets like Solo and the Falcon. And, you know, if they replace him with Bradley Cooper in the new indie, I am going to shit myself. Like, don't get me wrong, I love Coop, but there's only one Indiana Jones. And it's not George Lucas's giant Malamu dog either. Um, you know, and it's funny how the dog and George Lucas... They, uh, they do really do look alike. <laughs> um, you know, um, if they cast Brad as Indy, you know, flash mobs would tear apart the streets. And it makes me feel like I'd lose my head if it wasn't attached. You know, the badassery of Snipes himself in this big comeback for Wesley Snipes. I just <clears throat> can't wait for this one you know to see him go all passenger 57 on everybody you know 
badass in that movie. And I, I love those blades he's carrying. You know, maybe we'll get another blade soon. I would really like to see another blade. Um, not like the one they shot in our native Montreal. I don't know if you saw that Blade series with that other guy that they shot here. Um, it was cool though that they shot the third one here. I really do love Goyer and a lot of people really frowned upon Blade 3 but I really liked it. Um, I don't know. I'm a sucker for David Goyer and I'm a sucker for Wesley Snipes' Blade. So, you know, I would, I can't wait for that. But you know what, Wesley? Awesome, awesome, awesome that this is your comeback role and you know what? I will be there in the front row to see you again on the screen. I love you, buddy, and you know, keep it cool. Now, another possible Mauser team member is the beast himself. Toss salad and scramble eggs. Loving Kelsey Grammer. And I fucking love his outfit here. It's the best of of you know, it's the best one of them all. Um there's so much going on behind that face and behind those eyes. And I can't wait to see him on screen you know i love cheers growing up and the crossover franchise uh fraser was you know i'm a big supporter of him and an x-men and and truly fucking awesome um actor and you know just just look at him how could you not love how could you not love that face so as far as the new bloods go for expendables three um that for some reason um barney needs to recruit to save the day um i don't know why you know if you've watched the other two movies and they're not really needed but hey you know what are you gonna do anyway we got kaylin lutz for all you twilight fans out there looking um rather rela relaxed <laughs> And kind of out of place. So um, I'm sure he'll be, you know, fine people. You know, I mean, they need some characters to die, right, people? So, uh, you know, we got, you know, that's all. It's for all you uh, Lady lady Twilight fans out there. Some pretty boys, as Wild Man Beyond would say. Um, you know, we got the wonderful ass-kicking Victor Ortiz. I love... I love his body armor, but I'm not quite sure about that hair. And we have this guy named Glenn Powell. I must admit, I'm not too familiar with Glenn Powell. But, you know, maybe he'll be pretty cool in this. Um, you know, is this supposed to be the eye candy section for all the young girls who get uh, suckered by their eager boyfriends into going and seeing this on, you know, their, you know, perhaps monthly anniversary? You know. Who knows? Only time will tell. Um, and this brings us to the lovely Ronda Rousey. I think she is going to be a highlight of this movie. Uh, mark my words, she's brilliant in combat situations. Um, such a great athlete. And there's rumors that she will be Barney Ross's girlfriend or possibly wife. And I hope she doesn't uh, get the co- kiss of death you know i would really love to see her maybe cross over into the expend the bells movie um that's in the work <coughs> sorry in the works you know it's it's just a brilliant casting choice here in my opinion um so last but not least mr conrad stonebanks himself co-founder of the expendables turned super villain um how come we didn't see him in the prequel Dynamite comic? You know, in that series that came out before the first Expendables movie? Um, who knows? You know, no one knows for sure. But look at that gun. You know, awesome. Awesome. Riggs. Max. He's fucking crazy and I love him. You know, Mel Gibson. Ladies and gentlemen, you know, why are you not in Mad Max 4 Fury Road? Um... Maybe he's too crazy for his own good, per, uh, perhaps, people. But, you know, just look at him. You know, uh, I love you, Mel. So, just kidding around. I really love you. You're, you're an awesome, awesome phenomenon. He really is a force to be reckoned with in Hollywood. No matter what anybody says about him, he is always going to be that awesome, 
Titan. He's always going to be our beloved Riggs. He's always going to be our beloved Mad Max. You know, and now and now he's going to be Conrad Stonebanks. You know, and I love it. Um, awesome director as well. He should have been the director for Expendables three. Go back and watch Passion of the Christ. If that does not move you, if that does not give you um, the reaction of reactions, then you are not fucking human. And you know what? Apocalypto was even better. I love Apocalypto. None of the movies in English, but it doesn't fucking matter to me. I like how we kept it real with both of those movies. Kept them in their native tongues. And you know what? Apocalypto, one of the most beautifulest, beautifulest looking films I've ever seen. Um, there's just so much great things to say about Mel. Great to have you in this movie, Mel. The only regret I have to say about Apocalypto is that I did not get to see it in the theater. Um, it's definitely one of my favorite movies of all time. I can watch it over and over and over and over and I love it. Um, Passion of the Christ, another great movie. I actually saw that one in the theater and a lot of people had some reactions. There was a lot of people walking out of that theater because it was so intense. Um, that doesn't go to say that it was a bad film because it's one of the best films of all time. Um, it's one of the best, you know, the best uh, true stories of all time and one of the best, I should say, takes on a true story of all time. It really makes you, um, it really makes you kind of understand more what sacrifices that Christ had to make for us to live as we do today. You know, uh, the stuff we take for granted. So, Mr. Mel Gibson, you know what? All things aside, you're just one of the best. And, you know, I love you. So, there you have it. So, there's no Bruce Willis in this movie. And we, unfortunately, do not have a Robert Davi poster. Um, but, you know what? Whatever. It doesn't really matter, because I'm sure we're going to see one soon. So, we'll be right back with the uh, reaction review for the uh, Roll Call trailer for Expendables 3. So, you know what? Thank, thanks for uh, watching up until now. And if you watch the rest of it, thank you for that too. And we'll be right back. So, um, so stay tuned. We'll be right back after this. To, um, to conclude and to close out, close out our um, Expenda special. So, stay tuned for the, uh, the trailer reaction. And if you haven't seen the Roll Call video, you know what? Um, go check it out. Maybe I'll put links to both trailers, you know, in the in the descriptions. One for the teaser and one for the new one. But if I put the one for the teaser, I'll put it in the uh, in the uh, uh, the other episode that we just did talking about the teaser. So you know, you know, just uh, stay tuned, and we'll be right back. 